Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 11 box red zone football mixer. These are the boxes involved in this mixer. Pretty solid stuff right here. And we had an early bird special going on. The first 18 spots purchased, you have a chance to win a bonus spot. The early birds can catch the worm. So there's the team list. Here's the early bird list right here. So here you are, early birds. First 18, good luck. Let's roll it and randomize it. Uh, three and a six, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Tony Barkey, the early bird that caught the worm. He bought, where, where are you, Tony? There you are, eight spots in. There you go, keep your eye for those early bird promos, folks. All right, thanks, Tony, congrats to you. Congrats to the people right here. Thank you to everybody who bought their spots straight up. Appreciate all of that. Let's copy that list, put them right here. I need a list of football teams, that'll help. This whole randomizing thing. Let's randomize that, let's put that together. Let's roll it and randomize it six times. Four and a two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, the early bird's on top right there, Tony, down to Patrick K in the 32 spot. Let's go to the team list here to copy and paste. Once again, four and a two, six times four teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a sixth and final time. After six times, we got the Bears. I think Trubisky's coming back this week. And the Panthers. Don't know when Cam Newton's coming back. Never? What if Kyle Allen just seals his job? No, that's not going to happen. That'd be crazy. That's crazy talk, Joe. Tony with the Bears. Dylan Barry with the Bills. Jack with the Texans. Tony with the Eagles. Matt, you got my Raiders. Am I wearing my Raiders? Yeah, Matt, you got my Raiders. Rob with the Titans. Cole with the Bengals. One of the spots he won. Derek with the Ravens. Marco Cardinals. Tyler Babcock with the Rams. Will, Bulldog fan, you have the Colts. Reed with the Browns, Brian with the Cowboys, Travis with the Falcons, Conrad with the Broncos, Jeff with the Buccaneers, Chris Masters with the Saints, Matt DeLeo with the Redskins, Cole, Packers, Brian, Jaguars, Logan, Niners, Sean, Last Spot Mojo, Lions, and they're up for trade. Peter with the Patriots, Ryan with the Dolphins, Thomas with the Steelers, John with the Chargers, Jordan with the Vikings, Roy with the Chiefs, Cole with the Jets, Patrick with the Seahawks, Logan with the Giants, and Patrick with the Carolina Panthers. Falcons for Lions, maybe? So it looks like there's some trades going on here. So I'm going to alphabetize this by team. I'm going to pause the video. We have that ability now. I'm going to pause the video. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks. Um, there were uh, no trades. A lot of trade chatter, but not a lot of trades happening right here. So... In the 11 box, Red Zone Football Mixer. Thanks to everybody here for making this break happen. Really appreciate it. All right, let's start with, should we go back in time? Should we start with 2013 first? I think we should. There's 2013, Geno Smith on the box. Absolute football from back in the day. And then we'll work our way towards the present. We'll work our way towards the present. Oh, look at the McDonald's apple pie boxes right here. Maybe some delicious, delicious hits popping here. There you go, Shayla wishing everybody luck. I wish you luck as well, ladies and gentlemen. One of these days, an apple pie is going to pop out of here from 2013. An old, stale apple pie. It's been a minute or two since I've had, a, I had an apple pie, ladies and gentlemen. It may be apple pie season. I may have to treat myself to a McDonald's apple pie 
when the weather gets to it's getting a little colder here in LA, boys and girls. I think fall is slowly creeping upon us. Hoodie weather is coming up, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Got RG3. Got these guys. Got Josh Boyce to 99. And we've got Gavin Escobar is your relic and autograph. 229 out of 299. Rookie Premier Materials. Cowboys. That's going to go to Brian Watford, who won that spot in that translucent break. Jack says, I got to go to Julian for the apple pie. I can make an apple pie. How cold do I call cold weather? Well, Jose, overnight it dropped to like 67 last night in Santa Monica. And I was just like, brr. <laughs> Where are my covers? Where, where's my where's my socks? Where's my winter socks? You guys are gonna hate me. Everyone who doesn't live out here, you're gonna you're gonna hate us in the fall and winter, when we're like all bundled up, and meanwhile you're shoveling out snow. You're like, oh. it's Jeremy Macklin, forty nine, and there's EJ Manuel jersey and autograph, two fifty five out of two ninety nine. Right, Jose's like that's o that's normal in OKC. Burr. Burr. You know, Jack, I can make an apple pie. I can just make my own apple pie. I mean, who needs who needs to go all the way to Julian? I'll make apple pies for everybody. Stedman Bailey to 199. And 18 out of 25, Marcus Weed. Those Julian pies or something. How far away is Julian from here? Listen, I'll, I'll make a few pies. I'll load up the car with, I'll load up the Tesla with some pies. And we'll, we'll go to Julian. We'll have a, we'll have a pie off. That's right, Shayla. All aboard the Joe Express. We're going to take some apple pies to Julian. <laughs> James Jones, Kenny Britt. And a plate on the bottom. We get a train whistle. There's Justin Hunter to 199. Remember when Justin Hunter was almost like a thing? You're welcome, Ryan. Dan Reno Auto. Not too shabby. The plate is... It's old, uh, old Raider Latavius Murray. One of one. Nice. Who's got my Raiders? Matt DeLeo. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. First train whistle of the week. Of my week, anyway. This is, like, technically my Monday, I guess. There you go, Raiders. All right. Let's go to 2015 Prism, which is hiding down here. 2015 Prism. I think I'll have to bring up. If you guys are, if some of you are local, I know you might have to come down to our new shop in Hermosa Beach later this year, maybe November-ish. Take advantage of uh, maybe a pie that I'll bring in. I can make a pie. I'll bring it in. Usually. Uh, Grab a grab grab a big bottle of Jameson, and then drink and bake pies. Although I I cut the apples first before I start drinking. Otherwise, I might lose a finger. But everything else, while you're waiting for the pie, basically is when the drinking happens. <laughs> you gotta wait for the two hours, and then you gotta let it cool process I don't make my own crust though 
I know there there are grandmothers all over the world now who are just like, don't make your own crust. Too lazy for the, for the crust part. Jose, you got low twenties in November and December, and in like where I live in the South Bay area. Like if I, uh, if it dry, like our lowest of lows is maybe like 40 overnight, like at 4.30 in the morning, <laughs> it would be like 40 and maybe wind chill. But that might be the coldest it gets. I suppose it's all relative. I'm sure once I get used to low 20s, I'll, I could get used to it, but. If I just hopped on a plane and went there and I fell into low 20s, I'd be like, nope. I'd spin right on my heels and get right back, right back up the stairs to the plane. 2015 Prism of Football. Ooh, should I marinate that? Has, has that been done? Philip Dorsett. Oh, Tyler Lockett, rookies are new. He's playing pretty well this season. This guy also not impressed by the refereeing last night. There's Brian Bennett, blue. There's Alex Smith and Malcolm Butler. Riley Cooper. And Kenny Bell to 350. Autograph. No, everything does not ship. According to the item description, it says no NFL veteran base card ship, no collegiate card ship unless numbered, hit, or SP. Yeah, usually in mixers like this or larger breaks like this, the veteran commons will tend not to ship. But Oam Odigizua will ship because he's 6 out of 75. Vincent Jackson will ship because he's a refractor. Shane, obviously, RCs will ship too. There's Eric Weddle to 150. Chargers, brutal. A couple games for the Chargers. Marcus Mariota got benched. Not good for the 2015 rookie QBs. Jameis Winston throwing like a zillion interceptions. And rough times. It's Chase and Pierre Paul when he's had fingers. Is that too soon? There's my boy Charles Woodson right here. That classic silver and black. Loaned out to the Packers just so we can get a chip. And there's Amir Abdullah, Fear Amir, rookie autograph for the Lions. What happened to him? What's he doing these days? I feel like foot issues kind of got in his way. That goes to Sean, last bought Mojo Lions. I feel like foot issues derailed his, his potential, his ceiling, his career. All right, there's 2015. Let's go on to 2016, Black Gold. There we go. Good luck. There we go. Good luck, everyone. All right, we got four out of 100 franchise gold. Seahawks. Patrick K with the Seahawks. 
Not sure what to think about the Seahawks. I know Russell Wilson's having a great season, but they seem to be escaping with some wins, right? Out of 225, Warren Moon. That will be for the Titans. Oiler stuff goes to the Titans. There's Amari Cooper, Golden Hands. Sometimes. Not when he was a Raider. 7 out of 10, Silver and Black Patch. This goes to the Raiders, Matt DeLeo. He's got hands now that he's in Dallas. There's Jacoby Brissett. Nice. Jersey and autograph. 44 out of 149. Grand debut auto. That's still Patriots edition. That goes to Peter. And the Pats. And there is Kenneth Dixon. 65 out of 99 for the Purple Birds. That goes to Derek Payne and the Ravens. All right, speaking of Russell Wilson, there he is. I'm gonna slide this box over here. There's Russell Wilson at 225. Some people talk in MVP, Russell Wilson. Patrick Kay with the Seahawks. Behind DeMarco Murray is Laquan Treadwell, Golden Hands. 63 out of 99, Vikings. That addition, that'll be for Jordan Ware. Sterling Shepard, jersey and gold ink autograph, 22 out of 99. And that'll be for Logan. Got the Giants in a. Uh, got the Giants in a. Uh, then that translucent Bree won that spot. And the big symbol right here is nice. One out of ten. Seal of approval. Adrian Peterson. Nice. There's the Marco Murray to 225. Sean saying what? Russell Wilson's got MVP odds now? All right, next up in 2016, a Donner Signature Series, which was sitting right here. And then we've got, still got these guys right over here, too. Card right here. How about John Hanna, old Patriot, going out to Peter and the Pats. Hey, they got to bring that guy back. They got to bring that guy back, right? Look at that guy. Kind of a creepy dude. Look at him. Sort of a. Not sure what that expression is on his face. Could could be could be some sort of possibly a, a serial killer. There's Trevor Simeon for the Broncos. That will be for Conrad Boats and the Bronx. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. We got Muhammad Wilkerson, elusive ink, nice. Thirty out of fifty for the J E T S Jets Jets Jets. And that will be for Cole. No Saints, are you giving up on this break already, Chris? There's a lot of boxes to go. And there's Derek Carr. Hi, Derek. Nice Derek Carr for my Raiders. Matt DeLeo. Raiders went into the bye with a 3-2 and two record, which is a little surprising to me. Well, one year after his rookie year. Oh no, Yankees pass ball or wild pitch, something, it went back to the wall. That wasn't good. Fan Yankees fans are not pleased.
All right, let's get to 2017 Panini Donner's Elite Draft Picks Collegiate. Yep, I, I was hearing it too, Sean. The home booze. Yeah, Nats are looking good, Alex. lip of the the pack right there that's only one out that's gonna score a run right gardener's noodle arm four nothing Astros now I guess uh, Astros Nationals World Series would be interesting, I suppose. I'm not sure if that's what Fox wanted, ratings wise, but. Right side up and upside down. We'll save one of those Mahomes for the Chiefs. There's our first autograph. That's going to be Eddie Vanardos. So this elite does not have a checklist. Let's actually double check that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So it'll go to the team that they're currently on. So groupbreakchecklist.com, let me just double check this, 2017, they've got elite football, but I don't think they have elite draft. All right, so they don't have, Rubric Checklist does not have a checklist, so we are going to go with the team that they are currently on or the last team they're associated with or if they're not on a team, the team they played for the longest. Like, for example, old Eddie Vanderdose was a Raider, defensive tackle for the Raiders, but no longer with them and not picked up by another team at the moment. He's on. I think he's actually injured. Oh, he was IR'd and then he was released on October 1. All right. So, this goes to Oakland. So, let's tag these for the shipping team here. So that's uh, Raiders, Matt DeLeo with that one. What beats next day shipping? Getting what you need the 
same day. With Ace, you can buy online and get free store pickup or get it delivered that day. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their stuff. Ace is the place for the helpful hardware folks. Ten years ago, I had an undiagnosed heart condition, and erectile dysfunction was actually the first sign of something was wrong. Luckily, I'm a doctor, an expert in sexual health. And we got Gabe Marks from 2017 Elite Draft Picks. Gabe Marks is a jet. Makes that last look. Back in 2017, he was. Yeah. So this will go to the Jets. And that will be for Cole and the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. So backwards and forwards. <laughs> and we've got Jalen Reeves Mabin. Maybe related to Cameron Mabin, perhaps? who is currently a linebacker for the Lions. Detroit keeping it close. Monday Night Football yesterday. But a couple, maybe referee mistakes, should we call them? Untimely calls? That's Rashawn and the Lions, last spot mojo. But kind of a rough way for that game to end. Right, the phantom face mask, the illegal hands to the face. I thought it was bold they called it on the player the second time in a row. Or not in a row, but for a second time, like in the same series or something. I was just like, oh, again, huh? All right. All right, we got D'Angelo Yancey from Purdue. Angelo Yancey is, well, he's a wide receiver now for the New York Guardians of the XFL. Wasn't that draft today? But I think back in 2017, he was a Packer. He played for that team the longest, I think. Yeah, let's go with Packers. And that'll go to uh, Cole with the Packers.
All right. Well, I guess no Mahomes in here, huh? We got the base card. I was hoping for like a Mahomes autograph in here. Okay, well, let's move on then. Let's go on to 2017 Panini Donner's Optic Mega Box. I feel like just the box is mega and then they only give you like that many packs. Good luck with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Still in, still in 2017 mode. Yeah, they could they could put a bag of potato, a little mini bag of potato chips in there, right? Michael, I agree. There's Wayne Gallman. There's Adam Shaheen. So these, those are inserts, so those will ship. In case you're wondering, uh, Joe Mixon, of course, is a rookie, so he will obviously ship. There's the Honey Badger right there. Peter Mann, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Zay Jones, who I think is, I think is now a Raider. Did the Raiders? Yeah, I could put an apple pie in there, Jordan. Uh, but he's a Bill in this set. Dylan Barry with the Bills. And Mike Williams in the back there. All right. Next one, 2018 Donner's Optic Collector's Edition. There you go. Let's see what we got in here. Maybe Saquon will be nice out of this 2018 set here. I've heard of him. That's a shame that he got injured. When's he coming back, Saquon Barkley? Anyone know? Is he coming back? I guess you kind of sit him out as long as, as long as you need to, right? Your franchise running back. We've got Boston Scott, rookie auto for the Saints. That's going to go to Chris Masters. Michael M. saying he's healing quick. All right, apparently those are the reports. He's healing quick. There's Dylan Contrell. These bronze parallels will ship, but they're exclusive this particular set. There's Bradley Chubb. James Washington. DJ Sharks having a nice little season this year. Mm -hmm. 
and we've got Marquez Valdez Scantling. Rookie threads. We've seen some good moments from him too. Cole with the Packers. David Williams on the back there. All right, we're getting closer and closer to that immaculate. We're going to do that one last. Let's go into 2019 Panini Donruss. Let's get this guy out of the way here. I'm trying to look at the games. I want, I want to see, like, what was the... What was a surprising moment of the weekend for you, ladies and gentlemen? I was surprised. I was, I was surprised that the, we talked about this earlier, that the Chargers were as bad as they were last night. The scoreline doesn't look, doesn't make it look bad. But for three quarters, they were, they did not look very good. Jets were a surprise. Sam Darnold, no signs of rust. See that nine-two yard bomb that he threw? They beat the Cowboys. They almost let him back, let the boys back in it, but but uh, they beat the Cowboys twenty-four to twenty-two. Are the Jets back? That all they needed was Sam was Sam Darnold, and that's it. They look good. You kind of expect Matthew Sellafield says Chargers kind of surprised me, but but uh, Cowboys kind of expected a letdown spot for them. Jordan says Georgia losing on Saturday. I don't watch enough college football, Jordan. Who they lose to? Jags Saints game was a little weird. Yeah, Minshew never really got out. I think ja I think Saints defense is is just that is that good. I thought the Eagles would be a little more competitive in that game against the Vikings. I don't know if I didn't know if they'd win, but I thought that it'd be a little more competitive than it seemed. But I mean, if Kirk Cousins is slinging the ball around and making receivers happy, and if they can control the game with the run with Dalvin Cook, that's a dangerous team. Especially with that Minnesota defense. Wow, Georgia lost to unranked South Carolina at Georgia. And a third stream backup QB. Ouch. It's Mark Ingram to 500. Irv Smith Jr. Trace McSorley for the Ravens. Jared Siddham. Cam Noon, when's he coming back? I feel like if he's healthy with the current team that they've got, that could be very interesting. Oh, not South Carolina. It's just South Carolina. Got it. Home of the Gamecocks at South Carolina? There's Cleland Farrell to 99 for my Raiders. Gary Jennings Jr. Not sure if there's a, were there any other surprising moments of the eyebrow raising moments. Nice autograph. 11 out of 49. Philip Lindsay, Oppo Joe Mojo going to Conrad and Denver. Oh, what about the Rams? Just looking inept. They did not look good. Rams lost 20 to seven. They scored a touchdown in the first quarter. And then nothing after that. Is Am I underrating the Niners? De is the Niners defense that good? Are the Niners that good? I don't think they've, 
This well, I said last week. I was like, this is a big test for the for the Niners, because I felt like they haven't been playing a lot of super great competition. And so I said, if 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 the Niners beat the Rams, and for the Rams it was as close to a pretty close to a must win game. I don't think they can win the division now unless they just go off on a tear. So the Rams really needed to to win this game, but they didn't. And not only did they not win the game, they looked bad losing the game. That's a problem. And they didn't have this guy. And this guy is not like he was last year, which I think is a huge problem for the Rams offense. So Sean McVay's got to figure stuff out. Otherwise, it could be it could go get bad really quickly. There's Jason Pierre Paul. Don't play with fireworks, kids. Terry McLaurin looks great. Looked great in that Miami game. That's a that's a great bright spot for the Redskins. DeAndre Hopkins always good. We got Wesley Walls. This guy looked pretty good. Chandler Jones. And Kyler Murray. Don't sleep on Kyler Murray, ladies and gentlemen. No one's sleeping on Kyler Murray, right? Not anymore. I think after six weeks, whatever concerns you may have had about his size and all that, I think he's pretty good. I think he might win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Him, Josh Jacobs, Terry McLaurin. I think they're all right up there. Offensive Rookie of the Year. And there's Passing the Torch. There's Brett Keisel, 48 out of 99 on the other side. TJ Watt. Both Steelers, of course. That goes to Thomas. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's to 99. Nice. Pat Tillman, strong. There he is. We're just talking about you, Kyler. Definitely looks like the smallest guy on the field for sure, but... Wait, did Marco get randomized to the Cardinals? He usually buys the Cardinals. There you go, Marco. What are the odds of that? Now let's do illusions. System QB or QB for any system? Kyler Murray? Well, I think he's got to be in that kind of Kingsbury offense. I don't know if he can be like... It's not like he's like an Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Drew Luck. You know, you throw names like that out there, you can fit those guys on pretty much any team, right? And they'll instantly make your team better. You know, but... I mean, if you get a Kyler Murray, I think you have to you have to be ready. Excuse me, to tailor your system entirely around Kyler Murray. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense to draft a Kyler Murray. So I think Arizona Cardinals ownership credit to them hired a guy who could best use Kyler Murray, which I think is great. So I think it's I think it's it's a, it's a smart fit. I think that's something that's, I think, a little like Marcus Mariota, you know, got benched for the second half of the last game, you know, and it's just been up and down for the Titans. But do you think that maybe Mariota, if you tailored your entire offense around like what Mariota can do, you know, maybe that's a lot more success there. Think Josh Jacobs is winning the offensive rookie of the year? I mean as a Raiders fan, I hope so too. 
But I feel like the quarterbacks always get the edge, don't they? Unless, uh, let's see, have a Saquon type here. There's Carrion Johnson. Bob Lilly and a redemption. Sorry, kind of snuck up on me. Wow. Ryan Finley, Will Greer. Rookie Reflections, dual patch autographs, green. What is green number two? Is that out of five? five? To cardboardconnection.com, illusion football, set checklist. Rookie Reflections Duel. No, green is out of 35. In some sets, green is... Anyway, this will be a randomizer between uh, the Bengals, Cole, and the Panthers, Patrick K. There's Kyler Murray right there. Kyler uh, Murray's smarter with running the football and smarter with throwing the football than I thought it'd be. I thought there'd be like like classic young QB, a lot of interceptions and stuff like that, right? But it's been pretty safe with the football. He's there's my boy Cleveland Farrell, four out of fifty. And he's not running around like a madman, getting himself killed out there. There's Matt DeLeo, seems to be pretty smart with the with running it too, whenever he does, and then getting out of bounds and I feel like he just all he has to do is just he just has to watch uh, <laughs> just has to watch a lot of Russell Wilson tape and just be like that's your career that's how to survive in the NFL do not get killed Kyler Murray it's Bo Jackson Kelly what's going on M Mad C you guys are featured on Panini's Instagram story the other day nice because of what 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 what, what were they highlighting. He's J.J. Arthigo Whiteside and Alshon Jeffrey for the Eagles. That'll be for Tony. Eagles Cowboys this weekend, boys and girls. That's pretty interesting. It's going to be a good game. Speaking of Russell Wilson, there he is. There's Garoppolo to 299. Undefeated Niners. Labor Day. Just hit a home solo shot. Try to make a game out of it. Dwayne Haskins <laughs> Breakers. Who, is that what they were featuring, Logan? Maybe that's what the kids want, Logan. I mean, I, I can. We can just change up the style. T.J. Hawkinson to seventy-five. Oh, uh, something that we have. Oh, a poll that we posted. All right. Let's see what. Let's see what's in here. Well, thanks, Panini. Appreciate that. On this side, we have Drew Locke, seventy-seven out of one hundred and fifty. That goes to the Broncos, Conrad Boats. Please don't what? Oh, please don't be yelling guy, Jordan. I could do it. Look at this sick. Ryan Finley, Will Greer, Rookie Reflections, Dual Patch Autographs. What? Unbelievable, man. What a effing sick hit. What? Bing, bing, bing. Man. You better get into all the football breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com right now. You better get into it. These hits won't last. Monster money hits. Go and get him. So sick. Rawr. I can do it. All right. There's Anthony Ratliff Williams. 68 out of 75. I don't know where Anthony Rattler is. <laughs> Do that the rest of the stream? Hey. It will, it will help us get uh, more profits? All about the profits. Um, aren't you a Raider? He was a Raider for a second. But I think he's now on the Titans. Right, 
wait, wait, no. Uh huh. On October 14th, 2019, Monday, they filled that spot with Marcel Aitman added to the active roster last week. The Raiders had a wide receiver spot open on the practice squad Monday. They filled that spot with addition of free agent wide receiver Anthony Ratliff Williams. His stock is now rising. So there's no checklist for this, so we're going to put that on the team they are currently on. That's some pretty recent news there. All right, there you go. Now I'm an Anthony Ratliff Williams fan. Oakland, that goes to Matt DeLeo. Stubblefield, you want that? That was the guy you literally watched last night. There's little Jordan Humphrey. He's still a saint, right? 75 out of 75. Remember when the Pope tweeted about the saints? Remember when the Pope tweeted about the Saints? Little Jordan Humphrey, what a sick hit. Saints, Chris Masters. You can thank me later on this big money hit. Damien Harris, Patriots. Three out of ten, Damien Harris. Patriots gonna win, Super Bowl again. All right. And there's justice being served to the Ravens. 9, 5, and 10. 23 out of 50. There you go. Nice grade. Purple Birds, Derek Payne with the Ravens. Uh, yeah, the Pope has Twitter. How else do you think he he DMs God? Yeah, look it up, Jordan. It's there. JR, what's going on? All right. Well, I'm glad you you glad you decided to stick with us, Eastwood. Otherwise, you'd be dealing with loud guys. Being like, what up? Welcome to my mom's basement. We're here to open up some Macca Collegiate. It's going to be sick. It's going to be great. Be sure to sub and hit the bell. Notifications. Don't shop anywhere else because we're the best. Not those other guys. Otherwise, it'd be that all night. All right. <laughs> last break. Last box of the mixer. Size is only one thirties. Is that good enough? That should be good enough. I could bring that though, Eastwood. If you want it, I could del I could deliver that. There's <laughs> Josh Allen for the Buffalo Bills. Mad C. Funny story. Car shop owner I knew gave me a free pack for Christmas. Told me jokingly if I got anything good. To not come back in, where well, I got a rediscovered red parallel. Two days later, he closed permanently, suddenly. Wow. All right, should I, get, should I wear some gloves too? Gotta wear gloves, because we never wash our hands. <laughs> yeah, all we do is eat Cheetos. So that's why we gotta wear gloves, because we're too lazy to wash our hands. Buy from us, nobody else. We're the best. Tacos, tacos. Earth Smith Jr., 19 out of 49. Sick patch, bro!
There's Irv Smith Jr. for the Minnesota Vikings. That goes to Jordan. Actually, I probably haven't watched other breakers in like years. So those are all these are all impressions based on what I remember from like three, four years ago. <laughs> Paris Campbell, three out of seventy-two. I mean, hey, listen, that's their thing. If it works for them, it works for them. Paris Campbell for the Colts. That's gonna go to a Bulldog fan with that one. We'll always have Paris. Next is Dual Relic, TJ Hawkinson, Noah Fant. I guess Iowa just produces just produces tight ends. That'll be a randomizer at the end, along with that other duel that we had there. Ninety two out of ninety nine, Emmanuel Butler. One touch everything with our latest lows. Emmanuel Butler. Emmanuel Butler, Saints rookie wide receiver. Emmanuel Butler. That's another Saint for Chris Masters. There you go. And show every card for one minute front and back. Oh, that's that's too much. You know, we actually get... There's Jarrett Sidham, 25. Some people say we go too fast on breaks. But we're that. But they're talking about, like... Then they'll email us about, Hey, um, I love you, dear Jaspies. Love you guys, but... You guys go way too fast on your Bowman draft full case breaks. And we're like, oh, come on. <laughs> those, are, those are long enough. Jared Sidden with the Patriots. Sorry, we respectfully thank you for your feedback, but <laughs> Patriots with that one. That'll be for Peter Jared Sidden, and we've got Jersey and Auto Clayton Thorson, uh, Eagles, eighty-seven out of ninety-nine Jersey and Autograph from North. I forgot they went from Northwestern. So that'll go to the Fly Eagles. Fly Tony Barkey. JR, sorry, John. I didn't don't remember too many chargers in this one. That'll be uh, Eagles, right? All right. So there you go, folks. That was our football mixer. We got a couple of randomizers to do. All right, first one was uh, Noah Fant, Denver, and TJ Hogginson, Detroit. Second one was the Redemption, the dual patch, dual auto redemption from uh, Illusions. That was Ryan Finley, Cincinnati. We're on Cincinnati. And Will Greer, Carolina Panthers. We're on to Carolina. Let's roll it and randomize that each list one and a three, four times. One, two, three, and four. The dual relic goes to Denver after four. So that will go to Conrad and the Broncos. Denver right there and the dual relic, dual auto. Once again, one and three, four times. Go with this one. One, two, three. And four. After four times, goes to Carolina. We're on to Carolina. Patrick K. with the Panthers. That dual relic, dual auto goes to you. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was our 11 box red zone football mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Nice, quick, fun one. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time right there. Plenty of pre orders for football available as well. Phoenix, check it out. jazbeescasebreaks.com.